has so now some words of welcome. Mike Brady first. Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you all very much for coming. We're really happy to have you here to continue to celebrate uh, Megan and Ben's wedding. Uh, the wedding itself was on June 15th. It was at our cabin. It was a beautiful ceremony. We have some pictures over there if you want to take a look at some point. Um, it was raining in Pennsylvania every single day, and I talked to Megan about a week before. In fact, I talked to her every day about the weather. And uh, she said, Ben is lucky. The weather will be good. Good idea. <laughs> anyway, Megan was right. Ben, ben is lucky, and the weather was absolutely beautiful, and we had a great time. When I was walking Megan down the wedding path, I should say that, back up a minute, where she was married, Bud, my father Bud, helped me to build a putting green there. And so we thought it was appropriate that Megan and Ben would be married on the putting green. So I was walking down the bridal path with Megan, and I didn't plan this, but right before we took that first step onto the green, I turned to Megan and I said, Megan, watch those heels. Don't mark the green, please. <laughs> and I, I'm not sure if I relaxed her or whether she thought I was serious. <laughs> but it was a great celebration. So anyway, we're, it's great to be here with you all, and thank you very much. And I'm going to give the microphone back to you, Bob. And Megan has promised to give us a greeting at the end of the evening. So we had a big schedule of uh, all of the children and grandchildren, and everybody was supposed to study it and prepare their remarks, of course. Tonight, someone came and said they... Uh, they hadn't read the schedule. I can't believe it in this family. So there's a slight reordering here. But the order of the toast tonight, just be warned, Rusty Leonard is going to speak first and welcome us. And then we've got Molly, and then Lindsay, and then Jeff Brady, Michael Jr., and, and uh, John Brady Jr., Little John. Okay, Rusty? Rusty Leonard, our host. Hey everybody, how are you all doing? It's great to see so many of us all here together, especially in Maine, who would have thought? Um, yeah, thanks for coming. It's extra special for myself, Ian, and my parents to have us all here in Maine, sharing this special, sharing this special moment um, in our home. Thank you. To Megan and Ben, congratulations on the recent wedding. I heard it was beautiful. Wish I could have been there. Um, tonight's for you. Thanks. Dorothy, you've been a great grandma. <laughs> it's amazing that you're still here and you can recognize all of us better than we can each other. Um, you've taught me a lot about myself, about the world, and how to live a good life. I'll never forget when, at Bud's Wake, you were kicking me under the table, trying to get me to speak up. I did. <laughs> and you know, thank you. Or when we went to Walmart and you got a hat, gloves, and a new watch for just ten dollars. <laughs> you know. Thank you. Or when I was sick and you cut all, you peeled all the strawberries. You know, thanks. <laughs> to Dorothy. There. Thank you, Russ. Now Molly, Dr. Molly here. Hi everyone, I'm Molly. I'm supposed to speak very slowly and loudly. Um, I just wanted to share a little memory I have of Dorothy. Um, the details might be blurred because this was a long time ago, but I remember probably when I was 
I don't know, maybe starting at the age of six or so, for a couple years, we'd visit my other grandparents in Ohio, and then we'd go to Titusville. And inevitably, I'd end up sick. I just remember those are the only times I ever vomited everywhere. That's where I went to Titusville. I think it happened like two or three summers in a row. And I remember, first of all, Dorothy always took care of me because everyone, as a Brady should, was out having fun. And I was stuck on the couch in the TV room. Um, and Grandma always took care of me and never seemed to complain that the grandchild was visiting her and vomiting everywhere. <laughs> and so I always appreciated that. But I also... <laughs> Always remember that while I was vomiting, Grandma would try to get me to stop sucking my thumb. I don't think, <laughs> I don't think I was doing the two of those activities together, but I was a pretty avid thumb sucker. So I just remember every time, you know, I'd come out of the bathroom, I'd be on the couch, she would put something on my hand. She had everything, and she never gave up. I think that is a testament to how tenacious she is, how she raised seven wonderful children. She's been a part of all of the grandchild's lives, the great-grandchildren. She never quit getting me, trying to get me to stop sucking my thumb. And I like to think that, um, even though we're a couple generations away, that I inherited some of her traits. And I know Grandma may not like this word, but I think that some people would maybe describe me as stubborn, as also tenacious. And I have to say that I never stopped sucking my thumb when she wanted me to. It was only when I was ready and it was my terms. I don't want to say what age, but I did stop. Um, so I just wanted to everyone raise their glasses to Dorothy. Happy birthday. And we're so happy for the um, wonderful effects you've had on our lives. Thank you, Molly. And next, we have my daughter, our daughter, Lindsay Brady. A number of Lindsays here. I wonder why. Yes, I've always liked to have that name. Um, so I, like I'm sure a lot of people, thought of tons of stories to share about Grandma and spending time with Grandma. And I kept coming back to this one. Um, and I wasn't sure why, but I think now, even though the details might be very different, we all have, um, well, Molly actually just spoke to this, even, you know, these common themes emerge even when you don't plan them. Um, so this was um, 1993 when I was 10, and we were in Titusville celebrating um, Grandma and Grandpa's 50th wedding anniversary. And then... Um, and your birthday. Well, it was in the summer. But anyway, <laughs> then we wanted to, um, I wanted to share tonight because then we went to um, Pittsburgh, and um, all got sick with Aunt Jean, six <laughs> pathetic little Jane. children. Yeah. Oh, apparently Molly chose that time not to get sick. Um, so there was that event, and then it just kept continuing. We went up to Quebec and went on the fishing trip, and um, my parents didn't go, so I got to um, spend, stay in the cabin just with Grandma and Grandpa, which was pretty neat to spend some extra time with them. Um, and I woke up one morning, <laughs> Sorry for the comedy here, and I felt ill. <laughs> but I told Grandma, um, and she told me I was homesick. And I said, well, I've, I mean, I, summer camp sleepovers, I've never been homesick. And she said, no, you're homesick. <laughs> we'll take care of this. Um, we'll walk up to the office. And then remember the crazy, um, the French teenager yes. who only, like, swore in French the whole time? Yeah. <laughs> so she persuaded him. Um, to use the phone, but then she realized actually um, you can't tell your you can't talk to your mom because another theme coming to Rusty's now um, you can use the um, 1-800-7 ask BLR toll free number um, to call your dad and that should be should be good enough so I called my dad um, and I felt fine and I felt better and I just you know like I think that we've all had those moments where there can be you know so many of us around so many people around and grandma can focus in on each and every one of us um, and take care of us and, and just really connect with each of us and she's always been able to do that and I know that we all have those memories of her so that's what I wanted to share thanks grandma and happy birthday and I, I will note that uh, Dorothy always did use the 800 number to call me <laughs> <laughs> Next we have Jeff Brady. Jeff. Um, as the youngest grand, or grandchildren, child, I didn't quite have as much time with her, but sure didn't stop her from making sure we had plenty of memories. Uh, the ones, my parents were rattling some off on the way up here, but... Most of them I really didn't remember. I think I was just too young. But 
I do remember you coming down every summer, taking us up to the pool, making sure we knew how to swim, taking us to swim team. You wouldn't let us skip in the morning, <laughs> even when we wanted to sleep in. And then we always went down to Kiowa, and that was always a good time having both sets of grandparents there. So I remember that. But the one that I really remember is when you took us to the movie theater, and we went to see Shrek. And then halfway through the movie, I look over, you were asleep. <laughs> but I asked you after the movie how you liked it. You said it was one of the best movies you've ever seen. <laughs> so, I don't know how that worked out. But a couple of years later, sure enough, you came back. You wanted to see the second one. So, I don't remember what happened there, but you may have fallen asleep. But that's okay. So, just want to say thank you and happy birthday. <laughs> Michael. You'll be crazy. Michael Brady. This is Mike. Hi, I'm Michael. Um, yeah, so when I was trying to come up with a particular memory, it was uh, there's just so many. I realized how active, uh, how uh, active grandparents I had, and uh, I remember. More than a few times thinking it was too hot to play golf and grandma telling me that we're <laughs> going to go play. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I just remember having, always having a hard time keeping up with her, but I'm very grateful, obviously, to have so many memories. Uh, <laughs> it's good times at uh, Cook's Forest and golfing and my dad getting us lost. We had a few memories. Like that. <laughs> so yeah, ha uh, happy birthday and uh, yeah, thank you. And our last toast this evening, and uh, then we, I guess, go on to dinner. John Brady? This is Mike. This is Mike's. We're, we have questions always. Who is this? Who's this is Mike's son. Lewis. John. No, 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 no. <laughs> Where's my father's child? Lewis's son. Sorry. Uh, I don't have any specific memory or specific stories about grandma, but I have a lot of different memories about her. I always remember going down to Florida and playing Mexican train and learning all those card games with you and going to golf and playing shuffleboard and just going to the beach all the time. And we visited you every, every year and all the Christmases you came to our house and spent Christmas with, with us there and then to Kiowa Island with both of my sets of grandparents mm -hmm. and then just coming it also the same as my brother just coming to swim team every day making sure we were there and up, up there every day never skip and just spending this those summers with us and also at camp greenville when you we went up to camp Greenville, we spent a week in the forest and just i just remembered all those memories i'm sure there's more but i just don't remember <laughs> thank you <laughs> Okay, we're going to go on to... I haven't seen you since you got here. You missed this. You missed Did you get your lunch? I did, yes. I had the lunch. We're going to go on to dinner, but before we do, let's introduce the other guests of honor here. There's Mar uh, moms, and I will hopefully do this without bowing it. We have mom's nieces here, who she says were actually like sisters to her. They grew up all together, and uh, Mary Jane Mate. And several of her children are here. I'm not going to try to introduce everybody. And Margaret Galbraith. Thank you for coming. On to dinner. <laughs>